Hi, Sonia with the Inspired Pen, and I have a walkthrough on a junk journal um, out of a line of eight that I just completed. Um, this line, every one of them has the foam interior or, or inside in the cover. It makes it flexible and soft, and it has some give to it. Um, makes it, I don't know, it, it's, I just really like it. It gives it a thicker cover with really nice stability, but also it's soft. This book, I really jumped out of my comfort zone. Usually I work in a lot of bright colors or vintage stuff. Um, most of the time it's a lot of color. <laughs> so this one, um, I, it's, it's seventies inspired. It's, it's very, very seventies inspired. And it all started with this piece of fabric and this tassel thing. It's, it's a, it's a trim. I think I think normally they, I think they used to put it around stools and stuff. In fact, I think my mom had a stool with that kind of trim around it. Um, I, it was like really long, like the, the, this yarny part was actually like really long. So I cut it down so it would, um, fit, look better on the book itself, but it just has that nice soft yarn feel to it. This is very uh, different from what I normally do, but I really, really love how it turned out. Um, this is permanent bound. There are 74 pages in this book. It has all this gorgeous antique fabric on it and antique trim. Um, it just has a wrap elastic that uh, will hold a pencil. Um, I was going to put pockets in it, but... I didn't like sewing through this. This is really super thick, but it feels, it just has a really cool textural feel to it. This, this fabric does. It feels nice in your hands. It feels different than what my normal, my other books feel. Anyway, it has this um, antique fabric inside that coordinates. Um, like I said, these books are blank. So they all come with these huge, um, coordinating ephemera packs. There are over a hundred, probably closer to 150 pieces in these packs. And like I said, they coordinate everything in here matches the book. So you don't have to look for special supplies for these. It comes with them. All you have to do is add your writing or art or collages, whatever you want to do with it. So there's brads, buttons, washi tape, different papers, die cuts, um, I did a bunch of die cuts in the pictures on the listing. It, it shows them better, it shows all of the stuff I did better, but it has, um, I did a bunch of border punching, different papers, has um, tabs, and then all of these fantastic coordinating pieces, stickers, paper, journaling spots, tags, um, vellum pieces, there's more tags, tons and tons and tons of different stuff. There's some transparencies in here. There's some antique, this is from an antique notebook, yellow pages. Um, there's these game pad pieces in here. Tons and tons of different paper and other stuff in here. And there's more border punched pieces that match and all coordinating. So this is gonna be fast going through the book because there's there's 74 pages. There's a good amount of pages, but there's just, I mean, it's, it's just all blank. So I did these envelope flips in here, uh, ledger paper flips just for fun. And because those ledger papers are, this is from an antique book of ledger paper. So they're really long, but it's got that great, great color to it. This book, I also put in some actual original blueprint pages just because I really liked how it went with the book, the theme of the book, you know, older 70s kind of theme. So different eclectic sort of mix in here. Lots and lots and lots of different paper, some letterhead paper, lined paper, different ledger paper. There's 
couple of planner pages. Definitely a huge variety of different surfaces to work on. There's mulberry paper in here. Right there. And there's another envelope tuck. Music pages. More blueprint. Yeah, it's so much fun. I just I really like the blueprint pages and that it's really thick paper, so it's gonna be fun to work on. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna have to make one for myself with a blueprint paper in it just because it's just so cool. Another flip. More of that blueprint page. More mulberry. And more ledger, more plain. And there's that gorgeous back. So that is it for that one. Like I said, that part, the flip through part is really fast. But like I said, it's got that great, great texture on it. And it feels nice in your hand. And I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching.